Hi, my name is Ling Ning Liu and I'm a developer on the Microsoft Hadoop team. In this video, I will introduce you to the interactive Hive console on Hadoop for Windows Azure. In this demo, I'm going to show how we use the interactive Hive console to perform Hive queries against the cluster. So to enter that console, we start from the home page. We click on interactive console tile. There are two actually consoles within this uh, environment. One is the interactive JavaScript uh, that will come from a different demo. Uh, in this demo, I'm going to switch to Hive. So this is a very simple uh, web page where you can basically type in arbitrary Hive uh, queries and we will show results back to the gray area uh, once the query uh, has finished from the server side. So let's just do a couple of quick demos. Go to the edit box. The first query we're going to do is show tables. In the current cluster, we have two tables created. One is called Hive Sample Table. The other one is the Max Query Dwarf Time. So I want to know more about the Hive Sample Table. So what I'm going to do is going to do describe hive sample table. So this query will return us the schema of the table. As you can see in this table we have typical dimensions that you, you will have for web log and then you have a couple of measure, measurements that you calculate such as dwarf time. I'm going to do a query that actually for each device model was the total query time that happened on that device model. So the query I'm going to uh, do is select device model and sum of query dwell time as total from hive sample table. And I'm going to put a limit. Uh, I'm going to do an order by first by device model. Uh, because I, I'm interested in the top 10 device models that have the maximum query dwell time together. So I'm going to do an order by total dwell time in a descending order and I'm going to limit the results to 10. I only, I'm only i only interested in the top 10 device models. Okay, click evaluate. So this query again will take some time on the server side to run and at this point we can actually go to the uh, remote desktop session we have established previously. We go to the head node and then we see job status from here. So this is the first stage of this query where we have two mappers and one reducer is allocated. So when we enter the web page of this particular job, we can see its running status. So the mapper has finished. Now its uh, reducer is running. Okay, so it's almost done. It's uh, both mapper and reducer are finished and uh, this is at the cleaning up stage. Okay, this job has succeeded. For this particular query, there will be another stage, second stage job uh, created by Hive. So we'll just wait for that job to show up. The second stage job uh, has been created. So we just click into the job link and see the details. All right, the job has done. So let's minimize the remote desktop session and go back to the portal page. All right, the result has been shown onto the uh, screen and here are the top 10 device models that have been used to do query and um, the maximum query time uh, associated. Thank you for viewing this demo. I hope you find it helpful.